Okay, good afternoon, everyone. My name is Bill Levinson, Managing Partner with Levinson and Associates. With me today, we have the Joseph Lochran and our life settlement industry consultant expert, Stephen, is joining us as well. So, you know, we wanted to take a few minutes and, and, and talk about uh, life settlements uh, today, um, otherwise uh, years ago known as viaticals, uh, which is uh, a different world. Um, but we wanted to shed some light on this. You know, there's a lot of uh, rumors going around. Um, some people uh, think life settlements is a, a black eye. Maybe they don't know all the facts or they've heard stories. So I thought it was important enough to, to bring in a third party, uh, Stephen, and, and to, to tell everyone how this system and platform works, how this can help your client and ultimately uh, help you uh, with a new sale, a new commission. Um, and, and most important, I think it's a it's a win-win uh, because in some cases where your client just doesn't have the need for a life insurance policy any longer, okay, who knows whatever's going on in their personal life, um, you can literally come through with a lottery ticket for that client. And most clients didn't even know this was an option, okay? So um, you also helped yourself and, and, you know, this is a new commission and your client didn't have to call uh, a third party company. They could keep everything with you under one roof, which is always a, a great situation. Um, you know, another uh, example came up, which I'm gonna talk about in a few minutes where uh, we had a, a life settlement go through and then the offer that was given to the insured or, the, or your client, right? They actually used all of that money for a index deferred annuity, okay? So it was actually resulted in, in two sales uh, for that particular agent and the client was very happy. Um, so again, a win, win, win. Uh, so anyway, long story short, take out a pen and paper and I want you to, I'm sure there's gonna be a lot of questions and comments. So, you know, jot down uh, anything that's, you know, good, bad, and different. We want to hear from you. We also have a question box uh, on the right side. You can type in as we're presenting and we will do our best to answer all of your questions on the fly. Worst case, uh, we will get to you as soon as we end today's presentation. Um, you know, the goal with today's webinar was just to equip you with enough basics so you can at least go out there and sound intelligent when you're talking about life settlement. So um, again, uh, make sure you have your pen and paper handy. We also have, if you notice on the right side where the question box is, there's a little red icon that looks like a PDF attachment. So we have a leads for contracting coupon, okay? And that's very simple. You just get appointed with us. With your first app, you get free leads. And then right under that, it says life settlement flyer, which is basically a 100 foot overview on life settlements. You can actually download and take a look at those as we're talking or just save them to your desktop. We're also gonna send out a thank you email and we're gonna include everything we're going over Today, we'll also have an application. It's like a one-page application where if you have a certain case or policy in mind, you can fill out the application, send it to us, and we can get you a, a ballpark offer within 24 hours. So we're gonna include that uh, in as well in our thank you email, which you will receive by the end of today. Okay, moving forward here. You know, I, I think it's so important and, and kind of what led us on the track to come to today's presentation is, you know, in, in, in today's world, it's so important to, to make sure, like when I, when I use, for example, a single dimensional, you know, butter knife, so to speak, approach, right? When you look at a butter knife compared to a, a Swiss Army knife, which is multi-dimensional, I look at our practice as the, I would much rather be the multi-dimensional Swiss Army knife. And I always encourage our agents to, to think the same way, okay? If you're always, you know, focused on, let's say, just life insurance or, or just annuities, what's gonna happen ultimately is your client that's known you for 20 years, they say, hey, Bill Levinson is the local life insurance agent and you know, we go to him for all of our life and we love Bill and we know his family and we wouldn't trust anybody else, okay? But what's gonna happen 
is the need for long-term care insurance might come up or an annuity or maybe uh, it's a, a life settlement. Maybe this person bought a term policy from you, okay? And, and 15 years later, there's no need for the policy anymore. Maybe they're not healthy, whatever the case is. And they saw a advertisement, a commercial on TV from Coventry, right? And they always knew Bill Levinson as the local life insurance agent. Now we're talking life settlements from a company called Coventry on TV. They're going to reach out to Coventry. Okay, and Coventry is going to give them an offer and ultimately you're going to lose out on a deal and most important, you could potentially lose a client that was in your book of business where you could have handled the entire life settlement. If you were multi-dimensional and mention in all of your signatures and marketing and advertisements that not only do you handle life insurance, but you also sell long-term care and disability insurance and life settlements in case there's not a need for a policy any longer. Always market yourself as multi-dimensional. Think Swiss Army knife. No more butter knives. And the reason why, I'll just tell you this quickly without getting into a whole story. You know, years ago, in fact, I remember when I entered the business, right, about uh, 22, 23 years ago, you were always better off and, and we, it was always drilled in our head to make sure that you're an expert in, in one field, okay? You don't want to wear 20 different hats and know a little bit about everything. You're much better off being known as the life insurance guy or girl. And when life insurance comes up, they're going to go to you, right? Well, what happened, and, and I'm not saying that was the wrong state of mind to be in 20 years ago, but what happened slowly, year after year, the internet took over and it changed things. And, and what it did is it educated your clients, okay? So now all of a sudden, your client, who didn't know much about all these different products before, can now go online in seconds and figure out what is a life settlement? What is long-term care? What is a life insurance, universal life policy, okay? And in turn, the agents became more multi-dimensional because everything now is at your fingertips. So my only point, okay, is I would look at this whole insurance selling world as you knowing a little bit about everything and if you need to dive in a little more, Leverage our resources in, in the internet and, and make sure that your clients know, yes, you can sell a 10-year term, but you can also sell an IUL and a disability policy and handle their key man or buy sell at the office, whatever the case is. Okay, I'm not saying, you know, uh, do uh, dry cleaning on, the, on Saturdays and mow lawns on Sundays, but if you're going to be in the insurance space, Know enough to be dangerous and get your foot in the door and then depend on us for anything further that's needed. It's so, so important. And that's what leads me to today's presentation about life settlements to make sure our agents know just enough to be dangerous and to identify those potential cases that are out there in your book of business today. It's so important. And in this example in front of you, I'm just going to mention this again uh, quickly. I know I get a little excited about these stories, but, you know, when I hear something like this, you know, it, I begin to think there's so many agents out there that aren't aware of a policy or offer or settlement, okay, what it is and how it works. So anyway, this, this particular case uh, came up here. As you can see, uh, the case is in front of you from all the way from Texas, as a matter of fact. The agent called us and really didn't know much about life settlements or what could be done. It was an existing policy, a million dollar case, okay? Now, what happened is the client called the agent and said, hey, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm not doing great, I'm not in the best of health, and I really don't need the life insurance any longer. Is there anything that we could do? So, of course, the agent relied on us, and we got all of the details. We have a one-page application, and we came back and said, yeah, the ballpark offer would be about $300,000 of a life settlement for that particular client, okay? The agent brought this offer to the, the client, who you can, you can see there, 64-year-old female, and she said, great, I'll take it. She got a check for $300,000. The agent made $10,000 on this particular life settlement. Now, 
this client probably would have seen, let's say, a Coventry or Peachtree commercial on TV called and maybe got a, an offer of 200000 and probably would have taken it and where that agent wouldn't have made a penny and probably would have never even known that this policy was sold because that agent didn't follow up every year to make sure he was doing his annual policy reviews. So the point of all of this is the client was super happy, didn't need the policy anymore. The agent was super happy because he just got a check for 10 grand. And I look at this as a win, win, win. And there's no reason to not go look in your book and we're going to show you what to look for today and to see what policies or clients are eligible for this so you can circle and have another tool in your toolbox to talk about it's so so important you're not going to do 10 of these a week okay but if you can let's say uh close one or two every six months or quarter and you can put an extra 40 50 grand in your pocket for the year for doing you know an hour's worth of work then then why would you not want to help a client i mean it just makes perfect sense to me we're going to have our expert on in just another minute here but i just wanted to to kind of set the stage and 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 what today's presentation is about because it's a little different than what we usually talk about so we're launching this new division this year okay in fact we're going to have some new technology on our website some new client and agent marketing materials and videos and kind of what to look for educating all of our agents we'll have all of that available uh, literally within the next week or so so you will see all of that posted okay so without further ado i want steven to to come on and, and really uh dive into the industry a, a little deeper i want everybody to understand what this looks and feels like what to look for in a possible life settlement so you're not wasting your time right and then where to go for marketing pieces and just give you a a, a little insight enough to make you dangerous we all want to think swiss army now no more butter knives all right Steve, we're going to take it from, from here, and, uh, and then as soon as Steven's done, I'll pick back up. We're going to go over a few free uh, lead programs that we have, some co-op deals, and then we'll close out the call. Steven? Awesome. Thanks, Bill, uh, for having me here. I'm excited. Uh, everyone, thanks for your time being on this call. It's an extremely, extremely important topic, and it's something like Bill was saying that we need to be aware of and we need to be educated in so that you know, that hour's worth of work, which I like how Bill said that, can really turn into a significant new revenue source um, for those of you who don't currently really understand or participate in this opportunity. So we are here, uh, we're gonna go through, you know, just kind of what makes a good case. What makes a case, uh, what makes a case uh, potential for a life settlement? But before we get into that, really just take a look at what is a life settlement? And life settlement is it's the sale of an existing life insurance policy to an investor. So it's it's a secondary market for life insurance. And in the end, the life settlement industry, we're really here to give our clients um, options. We're here to give them the best option instead of lapsing their policies for nothing we can give them a significant amount of money sometimes in a cash lump sum. So this is the industry and what makes a good life settlement case and what we're looking for, and this is where you can go through your book of business. You can go and see who is 65 years and older, you know, who's had a health change since the original issuance of the policy. Um, typically, a life settlement case, we're looking for a policy value that's 100000 or above. So why do people sell is another thing that we have to consider because a lot of times over the years, we have people that have some clients who have taken out policies to cover the mortgage, to cover the kids going through college, um, their families, and those needs change over time. And it, it becomes our duty as the agent to go in and say, have your needs changed? Do you need that same amount of insurance? And if not, 
be knowledgeable knowledgeable about life settlement as an alternative for perhaps getting rid of unwanted or unneeded life insurance. Sometimes health changes and they need money for medical expenses. Sometimes they just want to enjoy their retirement without the burden of premium. Uh, and a lot of times, and this is a great strategy as well when looking at your book of business as where can I find a potential life settlement is take a look at your term policy block. Are any of the term policy owners approaching that conversion deadline? Are they getting to the point where they, they can't convert it past next year and wow, they're looking at the conversion premiums and we all know that it is quite a bit more. Now they can't afford the full face amount that they have. Maybe they have a million dollar policy and sure they want to convert it, but they can only afford 250,000. Now the traditional way that we handle this is to say, okay, let's convert 250,000 and let the remaining term policy go. Whereas with this life settlement in your back pocket, in your Swiss army knife, you're going to be able to say, Hey, let's do that 250,000. You know, you have to see what can they afford and then bring to the table, you know, that remaining 750,000, we could actually go and potentially sell that to an investor and maybe we'll be able to get a, you know, a significant lump sum of cash that like Phil was saying could be rolled into an annuity or it could be rolled into a long-term care policy. Uh, a lot of times that happens and this is a doorway life settlement to more sales. It opens up the door and it gets you back involved with your client. Sometimes that's the case. Other times I have another example where we gave a client, um, someone who sold their policy. It was just over 200,000. And I talked to her this week actually, and she had just bought a restaurant that she was fixing up and she was starting her own business. And this was a lady who had nothing when, when she came and talked to us. So we're really helping people. And that, that's the, the bright side of the business as well is that we, we really are giving people who don't know they have, it's like somebody who has a million dollar house and they just don't know that it's worth anything, you know? Obviously, people know there are no different types of assets are worth money, but with life insurance, a lot of times it's overlooked. So when we're considering eligibility, here are kind of the criteria. There are um, variances to this. The younger insured can qualify if their health is bad enough. And that comes down into the pricing of, where did that go? I have a, another slide in there. Interesting. So the pricing comes down to health is, is included in that. So that does take um, a big role in the pricing of these cases. But when we're looking at the industry as a whole, 88% of all universal life insurance never results in a claim. And 76%, when we're looking at that 65 years and older subset, does not result in a claim. So there are a lot of these policies out there and potentially a lot more than any of us think that people are letting lapse. So it's not that the opportunity doesn't exist, but it may just be that we're not engaging our clients and seeking out those opportunities as aggressively as we could be. And to take a look more at the potential market, so we can have some number, numbers to look at, there's 24, 20 trillion of enforced life insurance and 4.5% of that lapses every year. So 900 billion lapses on an annual basis and 20% is eligible for life settlement. So as we back into kind of a, an estimated life settlement transaction number, we get $36 billion. And I want to show this because it kind of gives a stark example of where we're at in the industry. So we may not think it's a great opportunity. We don't see these come around a lot. When we look at this, 2.3 billion was the estimated life settlement transactions last year, which represents, you know, 6.38 percent of the potential market. And that right there shows that the people who can sell their life insurance, who would be eligible, a lot of them are unaware. A lot of them don't know. So this is a huge opportunity, and especially for agents. For you on the call today, you have these books of business, you have these relationships, and 
a lot of times it's just going back, taking a look and being a little proactive about, hey, I understand this new option and let's have a conversation. And it's not about knowing everything. Like Bill said, you do the due diligence steps, you see if anyone's interested, and then come and bring it to come come bring it to Bill or Joe, and then we can help you through the process, and we can make sure that it moves forward smoothly. And that's one of the things that we worked together on, and uh, we sat down and said that you know life settlement is it's a big opportunity. We want to make something that's good for agents, right? We want the Levinson agents to have something that's powerful and um, really gives them an edge in this. And we sat down, we took a lot of time. And we said, if we're going to have any reason or right to be here, like for us to have this webinar, we need to do a few things a whole lot better for some key industry parties. And we came up with a platform and tools and marketing resources that give clients, suppliers, and investors a real significant edge. So you as suppliers in this industry, potential suppliers with clients who want to sell their policies, we came together and created a revolutionary life settlement user interface. And you're going to see this come live, like Bill was saying, on their website. You're going to have access to this. And it gives you the ability to submit cases, track them 24-7, 365, complete transparency, and have it be as much in depth as you want. So there's notification so you can turn on and off. So if you want to be aware of every step of the process, you can. If you want to keep this as something that you're involved in, but you're not really involved in, you can turn those off. So as granular as you want to be involved, you can. But we also wanted to make it easy so that if you don't want to be involved in every step, you still have the opportunity to offer this significant value to your client. And currently right now there are you know there there are other providers out there and they use Dropbox and Google Drive they use email and fax and and what's the problem with with those solutions you know and the the problem is they're really good at doing part of the process so we came up with an entire platform and process and marketing materials everything for you to make it a whole new world a whole new opportunity but I do want to spend some time just so we can educate everyone on the webinar here today about the process, just going through the different steps, because I know this is something that isn't particularly familiar to everyone here. So the life settlement steps, and the colors aren't coming through quite correct, but number one is discovery. So that's where you find someone who's interested in potentially selling their life insurance for the reasons we discussed above uh, before. And the next step that that goes into is the application step. So that's where you can get in touch with Bill or Joe and say, hey, we got this person. Let's get an application. We can send an application or walk you through submitting it online. And that application then comes in and we get the required documentation. So that's medical records. It's illustrations. It's medical summaries, life expectancies, pricing reports, a variety of documents that all the institutional buyers and private buyers, all the buyers out there need to be able to price these cases. And that then leads us into, oh, that's how it works. Leads us into the underwriting. So underwriting is when we submit those underwriting files, all those to the buyers. They go and they price it. They go through the analysis of those documents and calculate a value and then they make an offer. And when we get that offer, that's when we we come back and we say, here's what we got, let's, let's talk to the seller and see if they're interested. And we can either get an acceptance at that point, we can get a counter, we can work with the seller. It is a process, this isn't something, there, there are ways if, if you have a client that needs money, you know, next week, let us know. Um, there are options for that. I always like to say it's kind of like a simplified issue or a guaranteed issue policy. If you do the quick route, you're not going to get as advantageous of a result as if you went through the underwriting process, right? So we always recommend that we go through the process and we get the highest offer unless they really need something quick. We have solutions for that too. So after we get the offer, 
that's when we get into the purchase process. And if they accept, we get closing documents made, everything's verified by the buyer, and we send the insurance carrier ownership and beneficiary change forms, because that's the actual change that happens at the carrier level that takes the responsibility away from the policy owner and puts it into the investor's hands is the ownership and beneficiary is changed. And once that's finished along with the signed closing documents, that constitutes a closed life settlement and what everyone waits for is the funds are transferred. So it's a lot of steps. There's a lot of intricacies within each of those steps. And that's something that we could definitely spend more time with anyone on the call that wants to set up the meeting uh, more in depth. But again, we wanted to make the, all these steps easier because a lot of times, especially I remember when I was getting into this industry, it, it kind of made me feel like, it kind of made me feel like, like this, <laughs> you know, you're, you're juggling all these balls. You have, you have people referring cases to you. You have sellers that you're having to negotiate with and get information from there's investors and there's case management there's all these things going on and and really having a, a system a process and a platform to make that easier is where we've come together and with levinson we are, we're introducing a platform that really does that for agents and just kind of as the last thing we wanted to go over just a few screenshots of what that platform is we don't spend a lot of time obviously we can get more in depth the most important thing from this call to take away is an understanding of what constitutes a good case. You know, 65 years and older, uh, health change, health issues, 100,000 or more policy face value, and just an understanding of it enough where you can bring it into the conversations you're having with clients. Because as you do that, it will open the door. You'll have a life settlement that rolls into an annuity or a long-term care policy, and that helps each and every one of your businesses. So here's kind of just, just an overview of why this is so important. And here's a screen where it just shows, you know, you can keep track of your inventory. This is accessible 24-7, 365. You can add new cases. You can view the cases you have in process. This can be done on your phone, on your tablet. And it allows you to not have to guess anymore. It's not a guesswork industry. It's not an industry filled with not, you know, lack of transparency, everything's here for you to see, which is extremely important. When you're putting your client's information out there and you're trusting in uh, a process to get this done, you wanna know where it is in process. So as you look through these cases here, you can do that, but adding a new case, it's a very streamlined, very simple to use form. There's different pages you go through, you put in your, your client, the person who's selling your information, their information, you can insert that here. And if you don't have all the information, another thing that we did, because we took a look at what if the agent doesn't have all the information, doesn't have all the time, what can we do to save you time, essentially, is a lot of what we've thought about and put into this platform. And you have this button up here, click here. If you don't have all the answers, click here, and you can actually send this form to the insured or the policy owner, or maybe their CPA or attorney, somebody who's sent the lead to you, and they can complete it in full or partially complete it and send it back to you to review. So that, that is just another way that you can kind of avoid spending too much time on something you should be spending some time on. Once all the information's in, there are there's two options. So for the first time ever, there is an electronic signature application option. And that's done right here, but there's also the option of printing, signing, and then uploading that completed application to the platform because that is at the end of the day we're dealing with senior clients they're not all tech savvy i think a lot of them are very tech savvy so we we do use this feature uh, quite a bit as well to print and sign and then that gives you access then to the actual policy page so as you're going through this process you can call bill joe you can call us at any time and we'll give you the most accurate update of course but being able to come on here and see, okay, medical records, everything's received and it's out for offers without having to reach out to anyone, having that ability, it really makes this process not as painful. It's, 
like like Bill was saying, like there, there's been some pain points in this industry in the past. There's some black clouds, but really, I we see a new dawn of what life settlement is going to bring, and especially through agents like yourselves, because there's tools and there's transparency and there's the industry is being reshaped. I've I've talked to industry experts over the last several years, and they've all said that within the next four to six years, technology is going to change the industry forever. And ladies and gentlemen, that technology is here. And one last thing with this platform, as, as powerful as electronic application submission is and all that, um, we've also incorporated the ability for you to be able to build out hierarchies as well, because we really understand the independent distribution model. If let's say you have agents that work for you or you have CPAs or attorneys, that may have cases they could submit to you, there's the ability that once you get access to this platform, which will be live through Levinson, you'll log in, create your account, you can actually add your own hierarchy and build out your own distribution network as well. Because really the key to growing your business and that is gonna be getting other people that may have cases involved as well. So at the end of the day, this is another toolkit and it's another tool in the Levinson Swiss Army Knife that we're really focused on simplifying the um, process. Really hope everyone is able to learn something and we'll, uh, look forward to working with many of you on cases as you get them in. Okay. Good stuff, Steve. Thank you. Uh, and, and just so, so everyone is aware, I mean, yes, there's uh, a few moving parts, as you can see. But just know that if, if you have a case that, that falls into this or it's even close, you know, 65 or older, some health issues, uh, could be term or, or permanent, just let us know, me or Joe. Shoot us an email if that's easier. Uh, give us some basic details on health and the policy. We'll come back to you within a day or so with a ballpark offer uh, or if it's even eligible, okay? So um, if you write a bunch of these, obviously let us know and we will uh, dive in uh, a lot deeper. Um, what, what's great about uh, Steven and, and his company is you don't have all of the layers that, that have their hands in the pot, you know, like a, like a Coventry, for example, where they're a, a middleman and then, you know, they could deal with another two or three layers by the time it gets to the company that's paying for the policy. Okay, which ultimately means that there is a layer percentage taken out of the offer to your client and taken out of the agent's side or commission. So I, I, I like that. That's a better feeling knowing you're dealing directly with one layer instead of four or five. Okay, so keep that in the back of your mind as well. And again, if you have a case that you think uh, lines up, just let us know. You don't have to confuse this. We'll keep it real simple. If there's a possibility, we'll dive in deeper. If not, we'll let you know uh, right at that time. Okay, so what we're going to do, we're going to talk about some other uh, tools and technology. We're going to share with you our orphan uh, lead program as well because there's a lot of these life settlements that are hidden deep under layers of these orphan leads that are existing policies where the agent either isn't in the business anymore, they're not contracted anymore, or unfortunately they might have on. So uh, that's another great opportunity. Joe's going to uh, dive in a little deeper, and then we're going to end in about uh, seven or eight minutes here. Joe? Yeah, thanks, Bill. So real quick, uh, what everyone's looking at on their screen is the Levinson mobile app. Um, I just want to make sure everyone's aware of the great content through that mobile app. You can download it to any smartphone, any tablet. Uh, if you're not using it, I definitely recommend doing that as soon as we're done with today's call. All the functionality on carrylevinson.com the quoting, the underwriting tools, even e-applications, uh, online contracting, uh, even our CRM platform, case status, everything is visible through that Levinson mobile app, and we do update it in real time. So anytime there's a new update, uh, that Levinson mobile app will be updated. So make sure you download that today. It's absolutely free for all agents. Just a great way to kind of have your finger on the pulse of what's going on with your cases and quoting and, uh, and e-applications in particular. So download that today. Again, it's free for all Levinson agents to go ahead and use that. Bill mentioned some of our lead programs. I want to touch on our three 
top lead programs. You can access these on kerrylevinson.com. And of course, in today's thank you email, there will be a link to each one of these programs so you can learn more and actually enroll. The first one, which Bill just mentioned, on the left-hand side there is the Orphan Lead Program. This is great. Like Bill mentioned, convertible term policies. Uh, these are available for all active Levinson agents. We'll send you a request form today. You can request those orphan leads. And based on your resident or non-resident licenses, uh, we have leads from all over the country. So we can send those to you. Uh, and then you can reach out to that client who probably has not heard from an agent in five, six, seven, ten years that definitely needs a policy review and maybe some changes, maybe a conversion or some updated coverage to their existing policies. In the middle there, we have an awesome co-op final expense mailer program. Uh, all zip codes are available. You basically pick the age, the gender, the income level, zip codes. There is a four-day turnaround from order to mail. And not only is this focused on final expense, it actually incorporates our final expense sales program called Legacy Safeguard, which not only gives clients a very competitive final expense policy, but it gives them end-of-life planning services. They don't have to worry about the cost of the funeral, if they're getting the best deal. Uh, it actually helps with the travel arrangements for all their surviving beneficiaries, helps them with a uh, living will. There's great sales scripts, CDs, DVDs, a whole entire packet that you get when you sign up for that Legacy Safeguard program. On the right-hand side there, our live transfer lead program. We're actually having a webinar on this program a week from today at 2 p.m. Uh, this is a great way to actually get your phone to ring during the times you specify. And this is great for agents that uh, maybe you just want to work part-time or you say, hey, I want to take phone calls Monday through Friday from uh, noon to 4 p.m. Uh, and I want to work in these four states and I want to deal with clients between the ages of 40 and 55 uh, that are looking for half a million dollars or more. Uh, if you're using this live call transfer lead program, uh, your phone will ring during those specified hours and that client's going to be on the other end of the phone call. They've already responded to an ad. They've already been verified. All their information is correct. And you're getting that exclusive lead. As a Levinson agent, you actually get a $200 lead credit that we pitch in our own uh, our own expense to make sure you're getting the best value for your money. So that's a great lead program to dive into. Again, we're covering all details uh, next week. It's at 2 p.m. Eastern on Thursday. Uh, finally here, some of our upcoming training events. Uh, we do have training on our agency automator platform. We had a great question come through on the webinar, which was, you know, how do I find prospects for the life settlement industry? And how do I find those clientele to kind of market and let them know that this option is available? And one great tool is the prospecting tool inside of Agency Automator. There's about 28 million plus records inside of that Agency Automator prospecting tool to where you can actually plug in your zip code and find local people uh, that meet that criteria for a potential life settlement. Um, all trainings for Agency Automator are done at 2 p.m. We have trainings Monday all the way through Friday. Uh, the one I always tell agents to go on is Friday's call. Uh, so you're, there's still time to make tomorrow's webinar. This is the best practices webinar where you can actually learn what other agents are doing inside of Agency Automator to be successful. And I think that brings a lot of value to that CRM platform. Uh, again, I mentioned this already a couple of times, but next week, uh, the 18th at 2 p.m., we're diving into a live lead transfer program. You're actually going to hear from a real live Levinson agent who's been using this program and writing a lot of premiums specifically on term cases using that live transfer lead program. So that's definitely one you do not want to miss. Okay, good stuff, Joe. Now, uh, this is our second to last slide, and it is, quite frankly, the most important slide because I know – we're going to see all of you at the expo next month. Okay, it's literally less than one month away on May 10th. And again, great, great day, great time to network. We have over 300 agents coming in from all over the country. It's free for everyone, so there's no excuse. We take care of breakfast, snacks, lunch. Uh, we have our keynote. Joe Ross is joining us live. He is the top insurance trainer in the industry today. I promise you that. We're not just saying it to get everybody excited, but I promise you, if you feel differently, come see me after he's done because uh, I know it's not going to happen. This is going to be awesome. We're going to have 10 of our core carriers there. The whole day is built around sales ideas and strategies, okay? We're going to have some new surprises, uh, some giveaways. We're going to have some real life 
agent stories that we're going to share. Okay, it's going to be a day you will not forget, and we make these bigger and better every year, as you know. Okay, the last slide here is always our, our Positive Tuesday uh, quote. Uh, obviously, today is Thursday, but the whole point of this is I wanted to show you how we just came up with this thought, you know, hey, we'll call it Positive Tuesday. And what we do is every Tuesday morning on all of our social media sites and on our website, we'll put together a picture and then just a, a positive inspirational quote. And then, of course, we use that quote throughout the week on our webinars. But the main point I'm trying to drive home here is you as we don't work in retail okay we're a wholesaler strictly 100 percent wholesale you are the ones that should be out there being creative and innovative and coming up with new ideas and you want to make sure when when those consumers friends family neighbors are out there and you're in south florida or central tampa or west california you know wherever you are Everybody must know Bill Levinson's our guy. He's the guy you go speak to about insurance and supplemental health products and annuities or whatever the case is. You have to market and brand yourself. And with social media and YouTube, everything is free now. Okay, it's just up to you to put the content together. Figure out, you know, are you good at being on camera? Are you better off, you know, writing a great, article on LinkedIn and how an IUL could be used for retirement purposes. You know, find out what your niche is, okay? Find out what you're comfortable at and run with it. It's so important, okay? The summary of today's webinar, it's not so you could become a, a life settlement expert. The conclusion here is you have some of these life settlements sitting in your book of business, okay? And all of our agents need to at least know enough to be dangerous to identify what cases those are and reach out with one of our e-blasts, okay, or letters that we're going to show you and that thank you email and send them out. And out of 20, let's just say 20 fall into that criteria, okay, if one or two say, hey, Bill, you know, I don't need this policy anymore. My cash value is 120000 If I can get two hundred grand or two fifty, I would take it in a second. You can sit back and make a $5,000 commission to put in about 30 minutes of work. So that's the whole point. It's just making you and your client aware that this is another option on the table. With that said, we're going to end with this. Winning the game always comes down to these two strategies in any business. It's marketing and innovation. And yes, it's that simple. With that said, have a great rest of the week, a good weekend, and great selling. Take care, and thanks again.